Today I'm going to show you how to create a bootable Windows 10 USB drive from an ISO file on your Mac. First thing we need is a program called UNET Boot In, which is U N E T B O O T I N dot GitHub dot com, and then click on the download under Mac OS. And that'll start downloading. It's only 10 meg, so that shouldn't take too long. And when when that when when that is finished downloading, double click on the disk image file. And I'm just going to copy and paste the app from this disk image into my applications folder. Looks like I've already got an old version, so I'm just going to replace that. And then you'll find it under U for UNet Boot In. Now if you double click on it, you'll get this warning, so instead right click and choose Open. And then click Open. It's going to want your admin password. And you'll get the app pop up behind in all its non-retina glory. Um, to install Windows, choose Disk Image. If you download it from Microsoft, it'll be an ISO file. It's in my Downloads folder under W for Win 10. Let's open that. Now the type is going to be a USB drive. Uh, this drive menu seems buggy as hell. Now you can click on it a few times. Click OK, you'll always get that warning. But in this case, it was a valid warning. My drive is in um, Mac format, not FAT32, which it needs to be. So let's open up Disk Utility. Find your drive on the left. Now mine's called Untitled. And if you click on the actual partition, you can see it's called Mac OS Extended in the format. So let's erase that and in the format we'll choose MS-DOS in brackets FAT and erase that. Now I found on Sierra that I always have to do this twice for it to work. Let's see if that's the case this time. Yep, there we go, didn't work. Let's do it once more. Doesn't matter about the name, MS-DOS FAT, Master Boot Record as the third option. All right, it worked that time. We called it U. No, we don't want it to be a backup. Thanks for calling it U. And then once you go back to UNet Bootin, click on the drive, drop down a few times, and eventually, boom, it just takes off of its own accord. Let's tidy up my windows there. I'll just fast forward through this part so you don't have to wait a few minutes. Now this will probably take a couple of minutes on USB 3 or 25 minutes on USB 2 or two days on USB 1. and exit once it's finished. If you open up the drive, you'll now see a whole bunch of Windows files on it. I'm gonna call it Windows 10 so I know what it is. And then you're free to eject that drive and go stick it in a PC.